All right, turn down my turn down my music there, Brother Linton, and let me talk to Ella Joyce. Ella, are you on? Yes, I'm on, honey. I'm sorry, sister. You heard your brother just just getting after it. I am so honored to have you on the show. Ella Joyce, for those of you who don't know, is our beloved sister who played Eleanor on Rock. Y'all remember that? And then, she, I don't know how a sweet, wonderful, brown-eyed wonder like you could have played that cold, hard detective and sent it off to Queen Latifah. Since I don't know how you did it, but you, you you worked me there. So that shows your your range of ability in terms of acting ability. But right now, you're in the city, and you're going to be acting on the stage right here, honoring one of our great civil rights uh, uh, icons in a one-woman show. Is that correct? Yes. So yes. what are you doing? Tell us about it, Sister Ella. Tell us about the show and why you're excited, as I am, to be in the great city of Houston, Texas. Of Houston. Yes, I am so excited. Um, the show is called A Rose Among Thorns, a tribute to Rosa Parks, and it's a piece that I wrote. Um, uh, my husband, Dan Martin, directed it, and uh, I've been taking it all around the country uh, for the past uh about a year and a half, almost two years, and uh, people are just loving the show. It seems to fulfill a need, a need to keep our history alive, to keep our heroes alive, and to keep their accurate stories alive. You know, that being said, uh, Sister Ella, you know, I, I noticed that a lot of times we have a plethora of shows and events around so-called Black History Month, but you, you've taken it upon yourself to say, you know, uh, celebrate our history, which is a part of human history and part of civilization building all year round. Exactly. So, so I, I very much appreciate that. But what inspired you to write this particular story, particularly uh, about uh, uh, Rosa Parks? Yes. Uh, well, uh, and that's wonderful you mentioned that all, uh, black history all year long because we're celebrating Mother's Day by celebrating the mother of the civil rights movement. Uh -huh. And uh, so we tied that in. Uh, one of the, the main reasons that inspired me to write about her, aside from the fact that I feel a kindred spirit with her being from Detroit, which is my hometown, and that is where she lived the second half of her life right. after they chased her out of Alabama, after the boycott uh, of the bus system. Um, so I felt a kindred spirit with her. And um, because it ties in so much now to the changes that are going on in our life, I just felt that a lot of the things that I go through as a black woman um, I felt the kindred spirit with it, with uh, Rosa, who went through what she went through that sparked, helped to spark the civil rights movement, which has changed so much in our life. I was just speaking earlier with my husband, and we were talking about how profound it is that we were allowed to live to see a black man become president. And uh, there's got to be... Uh, a really strong reason why God Almighty allowed us to see that when so many people died just short of seeing that. And we, so with my piece, I try to tie a lot of those wonderful phenomena into that. Well, you know, I very much appreciate you making that mention. You know, I, and, and I would say this when you, ha when you talk to Dear Hubby again, say that, you know, I was talking to this interviewer on Connect the Dots and this brother Robert Muhammad. You know what this brother said? This brother said, you know what? Maybe they did see it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they did see it. They, they just didn't did live physically it. to see it. But, you know, their prayer, their sacrifice, their life and their death was so that you and I, their children and grandchildren could live to see it. And that was the vision and the dream that drove them to do what they do. You know, you, you and know. we did mention that. We, matter of fact, we did say that they had visions that we could not see. Yeah. Well, we're at the point now, you and I, who are the beneficiaries, we're the affirmative action babies, the, the kind of ones where we can go in places that we haven't been able to go in uh, before. I guess the next phase of, of our work has to be, Sister Ella, that uh, our generation has to start talking about it's good that we can sleep in the Hyatt. Maybe it's time for us to own the Hyatt and compete with Hyatt. And maybe we'll call us the Hyatt Hyatt. Amen. Whatever we call it, you know. Amen. And so, it, it is really time for us to come together collectively, economically as a people, and really start owning things. Um, 
we need to own the places that we work for. <laughs> That's what we I'm need to begin about. to think that way. Uh, if, if you we don't... need to own these studios. Uh -oh. We need to own the networks. We need to stop raising our hands and asking for somebody to give us a job and fire our bosses and become their boss. Oh, Lord, I didn't got you. I didn't got you really. I didn't <laughs> struck that, that. I hit that chord, Brother Ricky. Yeah, you hit the chord. I hit the chord. That's my Self sister. Self-empowerment. Self-empowerment. And that's God. what I did with this piece. You know, I, I didn't wait for someone to give me permission to talk about something that's free information in the Information Act of America. Anybody can get this information wow. that I am disseminating to the people. It's just that you have to sit down and do the research. So and because we live in a free country, anybody is allowed to get up and keep the memories alive of famous people. Oh, y'all, we're talking to Ella Joy. She's an actress. She's doing a Mother's Day program. The Ensemble Theater's ninth annual Heart of the Theater is including a special performance by our sister Ella Joyce, a tribute to civil rights advocate Rosa Parks. It'll be Sunday, May the 10th. The performance starts at 5 p.m. That means, y'all, y'all got to be there by 4.30. That's right. There's no late seating, yo. There's no go to get popcorn, raisinets, and Sprite at, oh, the, no. at the stand, and then come in there and be talking about. No, and no, turn no. off your cell phone before you come up in there. Oh it's, yeah, it's got to be turned off. We need perfect quiet because we take people on a ride for an hour and fifteen minutes. Wow. Nonstop. The show is run as a one act, and there's no intermission. And I've had a lot of her relatives tell me personally that they felt like they were sitting there with Auntie Rosie talking about the civil rights movement, having tea with Auntie Rosie in her parlor. Well, you know, y'all, that's again, is at the Wortham Center, the Cullen Auditorium. That's this Sunday, 5 p.m. That means get there at, 4, at 445 at the latest. Yes. Be and they can also go to my website, ellajoyce.com, click on to A Rose Among Thorns, which is also a website in its own, and they can click on to the calendar and the current appearances, and it has the, uh, um, the link that will help them to get the tickets if they want to buy their tickets early. All right. The queen, the queen, the queen will be on the stage. Ella Joyce, we want to thank you again for coming on Connected Dots. We're sorry we missed you last uh, last week or so, but we're glad that, you know, I, it's like uh, at my wedding, you know, I'll be celebrating my 28th year of uh, marriage uh, this, uh, the 23rd of this, uh, of this uh, month. And I remember at our wedding uh, rehearsal that Friday night, the, the priest and, and the woman who was organizing uh, the uh, our wedding, we were all assembled at the church. Now, we had 14 bridesmaids and 14 groomsmen, and my wife's, all of her bridesmaids were in line. I had about four of my groomsmen. They were the only ones there. I was looking around. I was feeling pretty stupid. And so the priest and the woman who was organizing my uh, wedding started arguing. I mean, they must have argued a good, I thought they were going to come to blows for for about 15 minutes. When I turned around, Ella, I'm telling you the God's honest truth, Queen, when I turned around, all my 14 groomsmen were in line, and I came up with the saying, late, but always on time. And sister, we missed you last week, but you're on this week. You're late, but you're always on time. Ella Joyce, we want to thank you. We'll see you Sunday, 5 p.m. at the Wortham uh, Center, Cullen Auditorium. She's doing her tribute to Rosa Parks this Sunday, uh, the 10th. And we want to thank you for coming on the program, Sister Ellen. We wish you the best and give your husband our love and greetings from Houston, Texas. I sure will. And thank you for having me. And I'm looking so forward to being in Houston. My great grandmother was from Houston, so I feel her spirit whenever oh, I'm there. So this is Roots, the it's next Roots generation. And she was a sharecropper. Woo! So we're talking history. Come on. We're talking man. spirits talking to me through the, from the soil. Boy, you got you got my feet tinkling and the top of my <laughs> hair is just standing on edge. I feel electricity. I thank you, Sister Ella. Thank you. All right. Take All care. right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. All right, y'all. We just finished interviewing Ella Joyce. You know how that goes with the Connected Dots crew. Anything can happen. Now what I need to do is hear from you. 713 -5